Hey everyone, happy Friday if it's Friday in your time zone or happy wherever you are. Uh, this is the Upstream Marketing Community uh, meeting and I'm Matt, I'm one of the, the leads of the project. And I please add yourself to the agenda if you haven't already. And uh, just a reminder that we're under the Kubernetes code of conduct, which in short is be excellent to each other. Very happy to have such a big crowd. So welcome, welcome. Uh, we're just gonna roll through, add any items you'd like to the agenda along the way, um, and feel free to introduce yourself at any point if you'd like to. Good deal. So just starting with the, we try to start with some celebrations of things that have been going well, anything we wanna get out to the full community of people here or anyone watching after. And the first thing I see in here is meet our contributor blog progress. Uh, would anyone like to talk to how that's going? Um, hey, uh, I'll take that. So uh, over, uh, we have met two weeks back uh, when we were just starting to uh, reach out to folks, potential interviews. So uh, over last two weeks, um, most of the people who are present in the meeting, uh, they have reached out to uh, potential interviews over a couple of countries, regions under APAC. And these are the numbers uh, as of today look like. So uh, we have reached out to more than 15 interviews and um, have received uh, more than seven or eight uh, responses and seven of them are still in progress. So our next steps here would be to start writing the first drafts. Uh, that would be one of the agenda items I feel we'll discuss on what, who will be picking up the blog writing part, as well as what is going to be uh, the format, how it is going to look like. So, yeah. That's fantastic. Congratulations. It's a lot of work to reach out to that many people. Um, yeah. This is really cool. I'm also, I, I've been uh, out for the last couple of weeks, so excuse me as I catch up a little bit. This is absolutely awesome. Well, great. So next steps, maybe as we get into, I would kind of move this since there's so much happening, we'd put that in the category of campaigns in progress and we'll just keep revisiting that. We can set up any sort of help we need to guide those specific articles through the pipeline. Yeah, and uh, Thank I'll you. talk to that. Cool. Looks like annual survey tweets is the next item. Anyone here? Uh, yeah, I want to uh, go about that. So uh, we have a GitHub Actions on uh, contributor tweets to roll out. So uh, first of all, we were using it in the wrong way yesterday only. I uh, oh, figured shoot. it out like we have to open an issue, not directly in PR. And the issue generates an automated PR, and that need to be merged. But here also, we found a problem uh, that if we put some links in that uh, text uh, to be tweeted out, it uh, marks as like it's, it's out of range. So I think oh, it's Kathleen yeah. uh, who have to take it on her own and tweet it manually. <laughs> the so... actions are not working well. Yeah, there is a problem with like the link management, the way Twitter counts it versus the way Twitter together counts it. And Kaslin's aware of that. I, I'm aware of that. So if there's something that you some that we submit and it's like, boing, we'll manually do it for until we can get it fixed. Either myself or Kaslin, uh, and there's some other people like Paris and Bob that have access to the Twitter account. So just hit one of us up in contributor comms. If you need something okay. pushed out and you hit that error, I think that's the best resolution right now. And I should, like, if you can drop that PR, I will put that in the PR. Yeah, that uh, PR thing doesn't work because I saw three PRs you must, but that didn't work that way. I checked. There was no tweet. Then I talked to Patrick huh. and said that uh. that's not the way. You must the PR. That doesn't work. You have to uh, put an issue and it turns out to be an automated PR. Then only the GitHub actions get activated. But mm. uh, then also mm. we can't send the link. So we have made the draft. The draft is ready uh, for the tweets okay. to roll out. So I may reach out to the content performance and you could put out the, the tweets. Okay. Yeah, no, that's great. Thank you for clarifying. And uh, yeah, it sounds like our self-service tool is broken, which is, uh, uh, I mean, it might just need a rebase, right? Like, yeah, yeah, 
It well, yeah, some, but it's now not working today. So yeah, I like to separate those two things out, like getting the mm -hmm. action done from fixing the the issue. So getting the action done, I'm having a little trouble figuring out which part of these are tweets that are good to go. Is it, is it just if it starts with the word tweet, go from there? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If uh, the, the upper one is the description and what starts the tweet that needs to go out and the link along with that. Great. So Chris, would you be able to work through this list and just kind of queue them up, you know, not to spam them all out today, but to put them. Oh yeah, in the I can queue? totally like schedule them in tweet deck or whatever, for sure. I just got to find them. Hang on. Yeah. And if you want to append like done in front of it, when you schedule it, just so we know that it's which ones have been done. Mm -hmm. So Caslin doesn't do the same I think, Do you think that'll get it done for today? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can make that. Cool. Today's kind awesome. of chill. Uh, it's that. Yeah. The weekend before a long weekend in the okay. United States is surprisingly relaxing. Yeah. I can get work done or tweets, one or the other. Mm -hmm. um, that's, very cool. That's work. Well, thank you for doing that. That's really uh, impressive. And this document is a huge help for coordination. Looks like Paris got involved too. Yeah, she only initiated the task and we just uh, helping her. Good, that's the best. When contributor comms can help contributors, it feels like we're doing our job. Thank you for making us look good. <laughs> good. All right, the only other item I added in was there's a, a upcoming event, KubeCon LA in the United States. Um, a few of us recorded a panel to continue to communicate the value of this group. And we're really happy that that's already recorded a month ahead of time. So we will just, it'll go live in October 11th, I think is when it happens. Just wanted to let other people know that that happened because it's pretty neat. Um, I, I just have a one question from Chris. Please. So I read the email that you sent uh, uh, about some updates regarding the upcoming KubeCon. Yes. And it looks like there are uh, less people attending it or less participants. So uh, because of that, some changes are happening in the physical mm -hmm. uh, event. So. Uh, as like after that update, it is right that the five days event is not happening. Only the first day uh, people are meeting. I'm sorry, what was the question? Um, as in, there it was supposed to be a five day event from October 11 till 15. And from the email, what I understood was because of less participants, less attendance, uh, we are moving it to to a one day uh, meeting no. only. So oh, Kubernetes okay. Contributors Summit has always been like this big day zero event where we have a lot of meetings because it's you know a lot of times the SIGs it's the first time in a year or six months they've been able to talk to each other face to face. We have talks. We have we used to do the new contributor workshop, and this is all inside one day zero event called Kubernetes Contributor Summit. Um, right now, registrations for that are very low. So we sent out an email to indicate that is the case that they are low. And if you are an org member and you want to go to the contributor summit, we need to know by today, basically, um, that is not to say that KubeCon is getting shortened in any way, shape or form. I have no control mm. over that. Oh, <laughs> it's okay, just okay. the contributor summit. That's so, helpful. Yeah. Yeah, that clarifies. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, quite a time to be having a conference. Yeah, it's I mean, to, to I mean, to be open and honest with everybody here, right? Like I'm on a couple different teams right now that are, you know, trying to put on something at KubeCon and like the the places that want, you know, we would want to do like an after event social, right? For the three events that I'm part of, we've all been like yeah, people are telling us put our deposits down like this week and we still aren't like sure we're even going yet. So it's mm. it's gotten to the point now where a lot of people are like, okay, we have to pull the plug on like a social fine, not a big deal, but we're not going to pull the plug on content just yet, if that makes sense, right? Like, so 
just to give you a greater context of what's happening, um, the GitOps, you know, day zero event said, no, nope, we'll just do the day zero happy hour that's on site. Same with Commons, same with Contributor Summit, I think is what's going to be the case there, or maybe we'll do something else. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, that's kind of just where the world is right now here in the US. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Okay, okay cool. Um, moving on to campaigns in progress, the articles that we're tracking, I think the only update I saw was uh, the one had got this most recent SIG review to just adding notes for new new attendees. Um, got his next one to a PR review, which is great. And then he's working on multi cluster next. So cruising right along. It's awesome. I don't think we have any items for steering kit committee support this week. Didn't see anything. So let's come back to meet our contributors blog progress. So Priyanka, if you'd like to yeah, lead the way, we can just offer to help however you need it. Um, yeah, so uh, ideally, like uh, the last, I think last last week, we decided we'll meet again in September 3 to take our updates and see where we are. So as of now, I feel we have received quite a good number of responses, so we can start writing blogs. Uh, what I, uh, so we wanted to discuss uh, what will, with the block format look like as of now we see like for example for india and china we already have three so we can put three uh, contributor responses or interviews per block yeah yeah so some some discussion like that like what's going to be the format of the blog and sure. also uh, just one thing i want to add here so looking at the responses from people uh, there are say nine or 10 questions in the questionnaire and not everyone is filling all of them. So mm -hmm. uh, there are questions which has empty responses. So uh, I feel uh, like this is my uh, contribution to what I feel the uh, format would look like. So we could say, uh, create a paragraph, not, not put them as uh, separate questions, answers to separate questions rather than just collect responses for, from all the questions and create a say 300 to 400 words paragraph, just giving a brief overview of everything that's we ha that we have received uh, from the responses. And then uh, have multiple sections, say three sections in a block with each paragraph from a different contributor per, uh, per region or per country. So that's what I was thinking uh, to move forward with, uh, but yeah, I'm happy to uh, understand more from other people what they feel like would be better. What you offered, I mean, that's absolutely on point. So what, what we've been doing as a practice is writing down some questions to ask people, but then those questions are not just copy pasted into the final article. It's you're looking for themes, some interesting ways in which you can frame the conversation to make it interesting to the reader. And I love your idea of, you know, making it a few different people talking about something. And if we want to take some time to look at your responses, maybe we can pull out some themes that would be interesting headlines uh, or ways of kind of organizing it that way. And with that, then yeah, you'd be good to go to, to kind of do a copy edit and get it in as a PR after that. Oh, perfect. So uh, one follow up question. Uh, mm -hmm. So how uh, what would be the best way to provide the responses as of now we are receiving them in a excel sheet so i can create markdown document and just share some of them with you uh, maybe maybe all seven we have received at the moment yeah uh, i'm gonna grab the exact document for you that kind of walks through the steps but um off the top of my head we tend to go into either a google doc or a markdown doc Posted on HackMD, just something okay. social that can be shared with multiple people. Okay. And then uh, somebody on one of the people that feels competent kind of writing or with a uh, technical writing background volunteers to help. Uh, Chris and I are both good at that, happy to do so. And yeah, invite us to those. And then I've been tracking them or trying to keep track of specific articles in progress on, I'll share my screen to show everyone the same thing. 
So if, if we click from uh, the articles tracked here, you end up on this board and they use it like a Kanban board moving articles along. So let's say you have, we're working on a couple articles. You can say you know, article one from, what's this called? The Meet Our Contributors by Bianca with support from, could be me. And we could link to that article and keep moving it along here. So okay. Okay. In, in order to, yeah, breaking it down from the, you've got all the input, how do we get it into something that tracks that it's progressing all the way to done? Um, and that's just a good habit for us because there's so many different things going on in Kubernetes, it's easy to write something and lose track of it. Uh, perfect. So uh, uh, we'll do something similar then. We'll just start by creating first draft in mm -hmm. HackMD or any Markdown document and uh, we'll come up with something maybe by next two weeks and then I'll put that in the in the Kanban board. Yeah, for a review. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Yeah, and um, anyone with edit access to the Kubernetes community repository should have edit access to that Kanban board. If you don't, you can DM me uh, and I can add it as well. Perfect, I'll reach out, thank you. Yeah, and my username on everything is Embry Robert. Oh, I need to spell it correctly. That's fun, uh, Embry Robert. Minor detail. <laughs> That's not helpful at all. Um, yeah, and I think we do have a, a really thorough guideline or almost thorough guideline of how we do this. Let's take a second. Hmm. Not sure. Um, just meanwhile, uh, while you are fetching the document, I would mm -hmm. just like to ask anyone um, if there are any blockers or anything you want to discuss, uh, we can talk here. Cool, thank you. Oh, wow, that's still in PR. <laughs> okay. This should be good now. Fix all the stuff, he fixed it. Okay. Um, I do have a very good guide. It is still not merged, but I can link. What's holding it up from being merged? Yeah, I'm looking right now here. Let me show you. Okay, my cool. Well, let's try and fix that. Yeah, we worked on this a good bit ago. <laughs> I feel like I feel like if anything comes out of today, we can close that one. Maybe I hope. Yeah, let's see. Uh, left off at hey Jason, any chance you could? I think it looks like he updated the things I asked him to. Let me just double check. Yeah. That's true. What was the last thing I said? Archaeology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. GitHub archaeologist uh, is definitely. Yeah. I found the tweets, by the way, everybody. Don't worry. But thank you. Common paths to help you do so. Is that common path? Okay. Looks like he merged in that. And let's see. It looks good. Ideal mm -hmm. path. How to write, yeah, so we say Google Doc or Markdown by GIST or HackMD. Further checking, dreams. yeah, this is this is the, the cheat sheet we've been looking for of how do you get an article all the way through Kubernetes? It's, mm. um, there are a lot of options and that is nice if you know them and it's very painful if you have no idea what you're doing or if you're new to it. Yeah. So it's it took us it's many iterations to get this. So I think this is good. What is it holding up on? Okay, it doesn't have a looks good to me. It doesn't look approved. So, do I need to approve too? Needs approved, yeah. It's approved, not approved, right? The check every time.
if anyone's new to this, I'm looking at the way in which you uh, oh yeah talk to the bot that helps you merge stuff. Prow is the Kubernetes bot oh, of your choice. Yeah. This command help is so oddly enough helpful because you're <laughs> you're like, what's the slash command that I need? It is approve. Yeah. Approved as in past tense. It's always active tense. Like yeah. Right, tense. right, 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 right. Yeah. Present tense, not which is fine, you know? even though you're yeah, it's confusing. Trust me, I've typed in reviewed and approved multiple times only to have to go back and be like, no, LGTM approved. <laughs> I think there, are, uh, I, I just saw a PR or an issue just talking about the same thing to, to have approved and approved doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah, Something yeah. Yeah, that yeah, would be great. Yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely a kindness for those of us that, I don't know, no, don't do I don't think any day. of us are in here every day. Yeah. I've been participating for well over a year and I still mix it up almost every time. <laughs> so, but all looks good. It's always nice when the robot likes you and that'll merge in eventually. Where's that gonna land? It's gonna land here. Hey, it's always nice to get a little actual items done in the pro progress. Um, Reviewing. Oh, that's not as helpful as I thought it would be. <laughs> thought that'd be URL. Oops. So, do we want these tweets to go out today, considering it's Friday, or do we want to push them to next week? Since I'm sitting here scheduling them. Uh, that sounds. I think a mix would be fine. Like, okay, cool. pe people yeah. tweet on Friday. Oops, I don't know how to do this right now. I'm not gonna mess with that anyway. <clears throat> Nothing like a live demo. Hey, you know, it's all good. Okay, um, so Priyanka, do you feel like you have next steps or are there other things we can do to support you? Um, I feel I have it and uh, what I what we'll do is maybe we'll stay after the call for in 20 minutes, so. Um, okay. We wanted to have a separate call for it, but I was busy over last week, so I was not able to do it. So maybe we can talk about it, and That's I'll perfect. put some perfect. updates in the in the doc. Awesome. Thank you for the talking. Oh no, absolutely! We're so happy to have you here. I think, mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're extending the value of Kubernetes and in a way that we can't. And I just want to be able to bring whatever we've learned to make it easier for you. So, thank you for trying to use our documentation to see if it works. <laughs> yeah, that's um, probably my week this week, trust me. <laughs> to do the docs work. Great, I think we covered any sort of new things that have come up. Um, any improvements? We usually take the back part of our meeting to try to improve our project and what we're working on. We won't jump into that. I did see contributor tweets has some open PR, so I'm trying we'll to work take, through those. Yeah, we'll just take a moment and look through those. Not too long. Add a new tweet. How about automation? All right. Both those tweets have been scheduled and failed earlier. So that's fixed or will be fixed in due time. Uh, this one has been cooked up by me, uh, but yeah, uh, this doesn't contain any link. Uh, I have like uh, removed the link. That's why uh, the bot is working properly. Okay. Okay. So I should close this one as we don't want to merge it. Yeah. Or yeah. We'll wait for an edit. But yeah, this strip the URL and. What is the URL? So that is, uh, uh, I'll add it there. Because I mean, I'm happy to make our I'll... lives easier here. Just manually do it at this oh, point. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it wasn't in the issue either. Yeah, like Twitter together is doing something weird there. Okay. 
a new file has been created for your tweet, but no, no file. Does this work? Okay. So the fast rate of help cats. Yeah, I mean, this is a great message. It just needs a call to action, as we call it. So like that tweet or that URL yeah. that will point them to where to go. So would it be all right to, would you like me to edit this in place or would it be the right thing to close this? And yeah, you could close this. I could put the whole thing in the uh, like uh, issue itself, and uh, Krish could just copy and paste it. In the okay, directly. great. Thanks. Closing and Krish. Oops. Okay, those and all the issues. Oh, hello. He's trying to update the new tweet request template. Mm. Making a new who is doing that? Oh, he's making an issue template. Okay. Uh, it's, oh, okay. um, oh, geez, uh, Tim. Oh, okay. Bannister. So maybe trying to fix it, hopefully? No. No. Okay. Do not merge in progress. Okay. Uh, body type markdown. Do, do, do. Okay. What did he do? Oh. It looks like it's invalid. It's supposed to be YAML, not Markdown. So he, he, so he converted it. Okay. That is true. They do have to be in YAML, which is kind of meh. Have you tweet about Nginx? So is this a community tweet? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it uh, okay. saying the ingest controller. Yeah. Well, I mean, is that appropriate for us to tweet? I think is what I'm asking. Oh, I see. And I don't see why not. But if we, it, if we do it for Nginx, we're going to have to do it for every other ingress controller. That's kind of what I'm saying. So, Right. Now, the, the stance here is we don't tweet things that aren't made and maintained by the upstream community itself. And this is in Kubernetes Fair enough. slash All right. ingress Nginx. It's not nginx the company By itself is, yeah got it okay, yeah this is cool. our community i just i did not know what the delineate like where the dividing line totally is. fair yeah. yeah yeah i should note that uh note that this is an also i really kind of don't like navigating github right now <laughs> why is that the tree is off where are you um 
I could do a, here's a, so there's an, oh wow, this is showing up a little weird. Can you do a suggestion? Where is the, oh yeah, suggestion. Over here, authors, make sure your code. Authors, make sure your code is ready for V1. I don't know what that means. Authors of what? Uh, authors of ingresses? I mean, people. Um, okay. Wait, let me read it again. Generally available. It requires the V1 ingress API because of a removal of the beta API. Yep. Uh, Authors. I'm not sure authors is the right word. Make sure your code is ready. I would just put users instead of authors. Consumers, you know, if you're using the Nginx ingress, I don't know if that'll fit, but yeah. Sure. If you're upgrading, make sure your code is ready for. Make yeah. sure your YAMLs is good. I'm just not going to do that. I'll say uh, 10 I could mission feature to add a space. And I'm Oh, there's a good one. Uh, could we be more? Oops, thought they did a quote thing. Anyway, it doesn't. Um, good. I think we got through all of them. Is that the last one? No, McCarthy Canyon's got something. We have done some automation for tweeting by. <laughs> I think that's, is that on hold or not? Okay. Looks like this worked. Uh, I'm closing given that I'm not going to tweet this message. Boom. All right. I think we wrapped up the open issues in there. Um, I think if folks would like to stick around for the Further conversation on the Meet Our Contributors blog progress, please do. If you were here for the general upstream marketing meeting, feel free to drop at this point. Thanks for joining and have a good rest of your day. Thanks, everyone. Uh, Priyanka, would you like this to continue to record? Uh, no, no, it would be fine without recording. Yeah. Okay.